Hi, and welcome to the next assembly video for the ErgoDox open source mechanical keyboard. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to solder the mini USB connections. So first of all, in the last uh, video, I did mention that the wires in a, um, in a mini USB cable like this are usually black, white, green, and red. Black is the ground, white would be the negative data, green would be the positive data, and red would be the 5 volt. In this case I had to look it up because um, I wasn't, uh, wasn't sure with these colors here because this is brown, orange, green, and blue. But um, based on the direction in which they actually come out of the plug, I'm assuming, and hopefully this is, this is the case, that, that um, with the plug in this direction, that brown would actually be the 5 volt, orange would be the negative data, green would be the positive data, and the blue one would be the ground. So that's how I'm going to connect them, and hopefully it works. So the 5 volt is the first one here, right there. So that one can be pretty short. I'll probably make it about that short. Oops, just made it shorter. These aren't the best wire clippers for this. So, well, that'll probably work. Let's see if that's plugged in. Yeah, that should work just fine. All right, the next one is orange. And, um... <clears throat> I figure that's the negative data. And that goes over here, so that should do it. Oops. I keep making it shorter. I don't know if it a little more careful. I don't know if that's going to actually be long enough now. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, the next one is green. Should be the positive data. That one goes over here into the center. So I'm going to start with it this long. And So that should do. And then the blue one should be the ground, which is a little bit longer than the green one. So I'll just go ahead and make it a little bit longer. All right. So I have the ends of those wires exposed. Go ahead and touch these with. Um, A little bit of solder. Get them tinned. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Brown is 
five volt. So I'll put that in the five volt hole. Go ahead and get that soldered. Cool. All right. The next one is orange, which should be negative data. So it goes up in the top over here. Probably could have made these wires a little bit shorter, actually. Oops. Oops. Accidentally got a little bit of solder on one of the pins, or one of the pads for the uh, mini USB port. I'm going to try to soak some of that up. The um, desoldering braid. I guess you didn't see that earlier. Well, that's about the most I can get out of there. Oh well, hopefully it'll go okay. Okay, and then the blue would be the ground. So the ground is right here. Okay, and normally it would be different colors. Um, well, I mean, you might end up with this color. Normally the black would be the ground instead of the blue. And the, um, the green one would normally be um, actually green. That's cool. And then the orange one would normally be white. And the brown one would normally be red. All right, so next, this will need to be soldered. This is the mini USB port, and it's going to go right here in the center. Um, I made a mistake and accidentally got some solder on one of the pads, so I might have a difficult time getting this in, but... Looks like I got some there too. Doesn't want to soak up once it gets inside the uh, inside the pad there. So I'll just have to do the best I can. <clears throat> Thankfully, I only got only one of the holes is really bad. So maybe if I can. Get this lined up. I could just heat it and it'll drop through. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have it lined up, so I'm just gonna flip it over and leave my finger on it to give it some pressure. And then I'm gonna heat it up underneath and hopefully it'll just drop through. Need a little bit of solder on there to. 
Help transfer the heat. Okay, so I think that worked. Um, oh, shoot, one of the pins fell out of alignment though. Normally that would just fit right into the slot and then you could solder it, but okay, I can see all the pins now. I don't know if you can tell, but there's five in the center here, one, two, three, four, five, and then there's these two mounting pins on the outer sides. And I had a little solder in that center hole there, so it was difficult to push through, but now it should be pretty easy to solder them all together. Looks pretty good. All right. That green, the green wire there doesn't look like it has a lot of solder on it, so I'm just gonna touch it up on this side. Touch with this one too. There we go. All right, I think that'll do it. So the next step is going to be to solder the switches, which is probably the, either maybe the most uh, tedious part or maybe the second most tedious part, but uh, should be fun. After that, um, I believe all the soldering will be done. You yeah, have a pretty good feeling about that. I think that'll be it. And then uh, it'll be time to sandwich all the pieces together and then um, install the software. So. I hope you stick around. I hope uh, you're enjoying the video and um, thanks for watching.